these U.S. elections have brought some good news. Trump is out, even if he himself doesn't yet want to believe it. I'm sure he will see soon. Joe Biden and his promise of politics based on respect for each other, for facts and for science, has won. Kamala Harris, Vice President-elect, achieved something truly historic. A first woman, a woman of color, Harris smashed many glass ceilings. And while a lot remains to be done on gender equality, this breakthrough will have a long-lasting impact. But while Trump is voted out of the White House, Trumpism, or however you want to call this disastrous mix of nationalism, racism and narcissism, it got a lot of support. And it also has a lot of support in Europe and even among some EU governments, as we have seen. Democracy, equality and rule of law are not a given on neither side of the Atlantic. It is something we have to strive for every day and never take for granted. Movements like Black Lives Matter, like Me Too, and journalists, democracy activists, and many more fought back and defended democracy in the US for the past four years. And they are the ones that should be celebrated in these elections. Transatlantic relations have taken a hard hit over the past four years. And while we, while we all hope and we can be sure that they will become better now, the lesson learned for Europe is that it needs to send more in its own feet. And in order to be able to do that, we need to also stand stronger together and more firmly. For that, we need to have a common understanding of fundamental values. Because if we don't know on what grounds we stand as union, then we cannot grow. And equally, we cannot shy away from the responsibilities of our actions in the external world. That goes for the climate crisis, for weapons exports to conflict parties, or for shady energy projects with even more shady partners such as Nord Stream. If we want Europe to be taken seriously by the world, we have to take ourselves seriously first. And that means taking responsibility for our actions, their impact in the world, no matter who rules the White House. Thank you.